Sheltered under a fallen, gnarled, old grandfather porcupine tree in the middle of a hidden spruced forest grove, several snowshoe hares have made their home. Ten years ago, snowshoe hares in Homer, Alaska were at their peak, denuding and killing small spruce trees throughout the community. Then their population crashed, leaving only a small number of hares. Now, in 2020, the hare numbers are increasing. From February to nearly the end of March, an Inspiration Ridge Preserve Wildlife Cam has been recording the secret lives of these snowshoe hares in their home grove of spruce. Only 18 to 20 inches long and about three or four pounds, these secretive hares appear mainly at night, peacefully grazing on spruce needles and cones, bark, and other forest debris under the trees, a rather Spartan winter diet. Their large hind feet make snow travel easy, which is why they have the name snowshoe hare. In winter, the hares are mostly white, but as spring approaches, their coats start showing some color mottling as grayish brown patches grow in. Our camera eye in the forest reveals that hares tend to follow their same well-worn paths in the snow. Somewhere nearby, in their natural shelter beneath the tangle of fallen beetle-killed spruce, the hares will have their young. By age one, they start breeding and can produce up to three litters a year. After 36 or 37 days, the tiny hares, called leverets, are born sometime in the first part of May. Depending on food, four to six leverets will be born. Many predators eat hares, with lynx being one of the primary ones. As the hare population increases over its roughly 10-year cycle before crashing again, the lynx population also increases. It is likely we will be seeing an abundance of hares over the next few years, all part of the wondrous natural cycles of life. <laughs>